Okay, so good morning you guys. We're doing a little videotape demo here. So, uh, what I was going to show you guys is how to do the onion brulee, okay? So the onion brulee is French for a burnt onion. And so there's different ways to do it. I think the most efficient way to do it is just to put it right over a burner like that. You could also do it in a dry saute pan, but then it makes the pan very hard to clean. Okay. Um, some people do it on the grill, I guess. I don't think it's that great of a method because unless you really burn it on the grill. Uh, it shouldn't really be a grilled onion. It should be a burnt onion. That's why they call it an onion relay, not an onion relay. Okay? Um, so I mean, it's going to take several minutes. Really, you want to burn the whole flat side or surface of the onion. You can rotate it a couple times. Um, the purpose of the burnt onion is to add color to the consomme. I think of it kind of like a depth charge or something. You're gonna, after your raft is formed on the consomme, uh, if you're secure that the raft is well formed, the raft is gonna be kind of squishy and spongy. You can take tongs or a metal spoon and kind of squeeze the side of the raft and just drop the onion brulee in there. And then while the consomme is simmering, it just, uh, the, the color, the burntness, just seeps out and it gives the consomme kind of a deep, deeper gold brown color. Uh, other uses for the onion brulee, uh, some people put it in brown stock. Some people will, 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 will do a couple of these when they're making a pot of brown stock and just drop them in there just to get more, more color. Um, theoretically, you could do it in any liquid or soup in which you want to give it a little bit of a, a darker color. Um, it really doesn't affect the flavor too much. Um, so I'll kind of flip it over so you can see where we're at so far. You can see I'm, I'm about halfway burnt there, okay? So you can see why it's important to kind of rotate your onion a little bit. Okay? You can, depending on the size of your onion, you know, you might be able to get it across three of them like that, okay? So you're probably looking at about five minutes, I would say, to, to brown the onion completely. Any questions? Yeah. So it doesn't make whatever you put it in have a little bitter <laughs> taste to it? You know, it's a really good question. Why it doesn't do that, uh, I don't have a great answer for. You, you know, if you, if you over roast your bones and you have that fond, it obviously will affect your stock in an adverse way. Uh, it, it doesn't really. You, you won't notice any bitterness or any burntness to it at all. So. The darkness don't go inside of the... No, they don't really, you know, they kind of get moistened and you're going to strain the consomme carefully through the cheese cloth or the, or even the coffee filter. So, yeah. So let's take a look at it now and see where we're at. So I got one, one little piece there that I'll kind of rotate that a little bit, but, but basically that's what you're looking for, it's kind of the burnt face of the onion. Um, 